Moxley and Steve Arendt. This is the third match in their series. Steve Arendt has won both of the other two matches. He beat Moxley two months ago by countout. Moxley's like, oh, that's a fluke. I want a match. No countout next time. Arendt beat him by submission the next month with a testicular claw. So Moxley was like, I want one more shot. This time, no submissions, no countouts. Pinfall only match. And that's where we have this match here. This is the third match. And I said, okay, fine, Moxley. But if you lose this match, I'm not giving you any more matches against this guy. You've lost him twice already. It's already you already embarrassed us enough. You lose him another time. And you know, Steve Aaron wins this match. I'm going to have to give him a title shot. I mean, he's already should be in line for a title match. So, like, if he wins this match, he should get a title shot at the next show. And DDS will have to wait until the next show after that for his shot. But we do have a couple of other belts, though. I mean, we've got the, the DFW title, the ace title. Those are both in our possession. So, we've got... Uh, couple titles during the title shot. So Steve Aaron is very cocky right now. So much so that he's decided that he's going to imitate Hulk Hogan tonight. Brother. But he should have tried to imitate uh, you know, 1970s, 1980s New Japan Hulk Hogan there with the, the black trunks and everything. Oh, there it is. That's the move that he made him tap out to. But again, there's no submissions in this match. Gotta be by pinfall, Steve. But he said, because we're in Japan, he should have went with the, uh... <laughs> there it is again, the testicular glow. He should have went with the Japan Hogan. That is going with the classic red and yellow Hulkster. Fish sticks mania, brother. Running wild. Into the buckle he goes. There's the midnight special from Moxley. Oh, Moxley. The low blow. I don't know what the hell that was. Something off the top, let's call it. Headbutt. And Moxley decided to stick with the uh, long boys here, the, the jeans. He's like, I'm not wrestling in the, uh, the trunks this time. There's the double arm BDT. I mean, he probably should have changed outfits again since he didn't win with these pants either when he lost again uh, One, two. last month. Ooh, that close. By the way, our referee Tiger Hattori. Was show. There's the bionic elbow. That's the setup to the finish. There it is, the sushi roll. I mean, is this going to be it? Is he going to pin? No. Moxley gets up, punches him in the face, flips him a double bird, gets him in the backdrop. Countered by Steve. Countered by Moxley. And Steve counters Moxley. So, reversals on reversals. Oh, he critical them. Death Rider DDT, and that's it. Well, there's pinfall only, but he wins by critical. So technically he won by KO. It wasn't by pinfall. He knocked him out, 650. Critical him with that Death Rider DDT. 650 by KO, 74%. So Moxley does beat Steve Arendt here. But he didn't pin him. He knocked him out. So Steve Arendt can say... He didn't pin me. He didn't make me submit. Yes, he knocked me out. But you said you win by pinfall. You didn't win by pinfall. You knocked me out. So even though I said this was going to be the last time, I might do this match one more time.